Good morning. Today we're going to work an optimization problem for Calculus 1. I'll read the problem. Find the dimensions of the rectangle of maximum area that can be inscribed in a semicircle of radius 4. So I've kind of done a little cheating here, but I've drawn you a semicircle. I've actually done something else too, if you'll notice. Well, you might notice, but this, uh, this vertical line here is that I put it on a coordinate axis. Uh, typically, you'd just be presented the picture, you'd have to draw the picture, but I'm just telling you, it always helps to, with these little shape type optimization problems to put them on a coordinate axis, especially a circle, because if we have a circle of radius 4 and we center it at the origin, then we already know, we have a little bit of idea how to design our constraint. Or well, our constraint is the semicircle, because the a rectangle is inscribed inside of it. So we need an equation of the semicircle. Well, if this is centered at the origin and it's the coordinate axis, this being x and this being y, ooh, that didn't turn out too good, then this coordinate, x coordinate is 4, this x coordinate is negative 4, and this y coordinate is 4. And if you know anything about equations of circles centered at the origin, you know that the equation is for a circle centered at the origin is x squared plus y squared equals, uh, sorry, equals the radius squared, which the radius is 4, so 4 squared is 16. Well, the equation of a semicircle, in particular, particular the top half of the circle centered at the origin, is y equals the square root of 16 minus x squared. Um, that's the equation for the top half of that circle, or that semicircle. Now, the domain of this function, I want x to be greater than 0 because I don't want a negative distance. And I don't want it to be equal to 0 either because that would just give me a vertical line. So I want x to be greater than 0. But because of the square root, it also has to be less than or equal to 4, uh, technically. But I, I don't want it to be 4 because then I'll just have a horizontal line and not a rectangle. So I want it to be less than 4. And also, I mean, y is going to have the same constraints on it. It's going to be... Uh, greater than 0 and, and less than 4. So, moving right along, we were trying to maximize the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle formula is A, or area, equals length times width. Um, in this case, we would like, since our constraint is in terms of x and y, we would like our area in terms of x and y. So, if you'll notice, from the origin to this vertices of the rectangle, I mean, yeah, sorry, uh, is uh, an x coordinate and from this vertices to this vertices or the height or the width of the rectangle in this case the width since that's the way we labeled it is a y coordinate so we can actually write length and width in terms of x and y well width is just going to equal y it's uh, uh, the length is actually equal to this x coordinate plus the absolute value of this x coordinate so it'll be the length will equal 2x. So now I can write an equation for the area in terms of x and y for this rectangle. So area equals 2x uh, times y. Uh, now I'm going to sub in for y and I get area in terms of x equals 2x and y in terms of x is the square root of 16 minus x squared. So now I can take the derivative because that's the maximum optimization process. The derivative of this function, area function in terms of x, uh, a prime, we're going to have to use the product rule. We have the derivative of the first, which is 2, times the second, which is uh, 16 minus x squared, uh, plus the, uh, the first, which is 2x, times the derivative of the second, well, anytime we have the square root, we know we get uh, 2 t times the square root expression, oh, you know, in the denominator, 2 in the denominator times the square root expression. Uh, I, I think that we've already done enough derivatives, so you can review how to do derivatives. This is a shortcut for video time's sake. Uh, and then the derivative of the inside, the derivative of 16 is 0, the derivative of negative 2x squared is negative 2x. So we can actually simplify a little bit. Um, and then uh, we need a common denominator. The common denominator is square root of 16 minus x squared. When I multiply this, because this is the side that needs it, 
by uh, the square root of si 16 minus x squared, we get just the quantity 16 minus x squared. So we'll write that as a prime of x equals 2 times 16 minus x squared. Uh, 2x times negative x is negative 2x squared all over our common denominator, square root of 16 minus x squared. Um, I'll distribute the numerator. So I get uh, 2 times 16 is 32. 2 times negative x squared is negative 2x squared. Minus 2x squared is negative 4x squared divided by the square root of 16 minus x squared. Now we want to set uh, a prime uh, of x equal to 0. And that implies that x equals, um, if we set the numerator equal to 0, we get uh, x is equal, you know, you move 32 to one side, divide by negative 4, and you get, and then you take the square root of both sides, you get plus or minus the square root of 8, but we really don't care about the negative square root of 8, we just want the positive square root of 8, so x equals the square root of 8. Uh, now we look at where a prime does not exist, which is where the denominator equals zero. Well, the denominator equals zero when x equals four. But notice I already put a restriction on x that it, I didn't want it to equal four. I just I want it to be less than four. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, a lot of times at this point we only have one value. We can kind of almost assume that's going to yield the maximum uh, area. Um, but just to be sure. Um, we could either do the second derivative test, which in this case, since I'm going to have to do a quotient rule, I've already done this ugly product rule, uh, I might as well just, I, I think it would probably just be easier just to do a sign of A prime graph and just see where it, F, uh, A is increasing and decreasing. We only have one point to check, and we have it's between 0 and 4. So between 0 and square root of 8, well, I don't know what the square root of 8 is. I don't have my calculator handy. But I know the square root of nine is three, so I know the square root of eight is a little is a, is less than three. So two is between zero and something less than three. Well, uh, it's it's not two because the square root of four is two, so we know it's between two and three. So anyway, I'll use two. Uh, two squared is four. Four times four is sixteen. Thirty-two minus sixteen is a positive number. Sixteen minus uh, four is. Uh, Right, because we'll be using two, yeah. 16 minus four is uh, also a positive number, square root of positive number, so we have a positive over a positive. So A prime is positive, which implies that A is increasing. And then uh, between, same, same thing, we know that um, square root of eight is less than three, so three is between the square root of eight and four. So we'll use three. Three squared is nine, nine times four is 36. 32 minus 36 is a negative number. 16 minus 9 is a positive number. Square root of positive number is a positive number. And so therefore, we have a negative or a positive. We get a negative. So we know that uh, A is decreasing. So that means that we have a maximum at x equals square root of 8. So that pretty much, I don't, I didn't want to have to do the second derivative test. I think it would take too long in this case. We've already done enough. So now we'll go back and get our length and our width. So that yields our uh, maximum area of this rectangle. So length actually equal 2x. So it's going to equal 2 times the square root of 8. And we weren't giving any units in this, so it's just 2 square roots of 8. A lot of times when you're dealing with little geometric pictures like this, they won't. You can say units, I guess. Uh, and then our width equals y, and y equals the square root of 16 minus x squared. x is square root of 8. Square root of 8 squared is 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. So we get the square root of 8, and that's our answer. The uh, I think we I think it wanted the length and the width. Yeah, the length and the width that will maximize the area of this rectangle inscribed in a semicircle of radius 4 will be uh, the, the length will equal 2 times the square root of 8, 8, the width will equal square root of 8.